In the next few videos, we'll be adding functionality to our asset. But before we do that, I'd like to take a look at uh, something that I think is very important with these auto rig uh, component nodes. And that is uh, the difference between their actual parameters and the component parameters. Because these are two different things. This node only has these three uh, parameters. It has the component that it's using as its source. And that can be um, some of these built-in uh, ones. Uh, you can edit the source script as a snippet. Uh, you can have a component output file. Uh, then it defines the rig, whether the rig source is being added to or updated, uh, the name of the rig, uh, and some advanced uh, parameters. But these are the only parameters that this node has. These parameters, these component parameters, are created from this definition here. And in this case, it is the look at component geometry. And if this geometry changes, for instance, um, this node was built in um, a production build 20.5.332, but this scene that I'm using right now is in build 20.5370. So normally, this wouldn't really have any effect, but during this beta period, and perhaps in the future, the component, as it's defined in our Houdini file system, in our install, might change. It might be updated, it might have a bug that's fixed, uh, and so on. But this instance of the node has these component parameters, and these are spare parameters that are created in this scene file. And these are not updated if this component gets updated. And you can kind of tell that by it has these two buttons here. It has a, a kind of a broom and it has a little refresh button. And if we mouse over the broom, we see the tooltip that says this button removes all the spare parameters that are used as inputs for the component script. So that's telling us right away that these are spare parameters. The second one, uh, it says this button updates the parameters in this section to those of the current component. This is useful if the input component script parameters have changed. So let's take a look at what that looks like in, uh, in a practical case. Again, this node was built in 20.5.332, but my scene file is 20.5.370. So what I can do is I can alt and drag to create a copy. And in fact, I'll make two copies. So these three nodes are identical in every way. Um, they're the same node and they have the same component parameters. But on this one, I'm going to uh, use this uh, reset animation parameters button that will remove all the spare parameters. So here I go. And now you can see that uh, the Apex Auto Rig component only has those original parameters. It doesn't have any component parameters. And the way that we uh, bring those parameters back is to tell the node using this refresh button to look into this component geometry that contains our graph and then rebuild the component parameters. So I can do that now. So now we get uh, the parameters and they're just set to default. So we have in this look at uh, component, some of these default comp uh, parameters make reference to an I. Um, these defaults might change in the future. But you can see that under driver, uh, we have driver promote T, driver promote R, and driver promote S. So we're being given the opportunity to promote um, the components of this transform individually. But if we look at our original node, we don't have those parameters. So that indicates that in build 332, 
this is what the parameters looked like. But in build 370, we have all these additional parameters. So if we wanted to just refresh, let's say that we've already set something up here in this, as it is in this case. And if we refresh, so let's see, we have parent as root driven as dome. So let's see what happens when we just refresh and it'll ask us, do you want to update the current component parameters? Yes, I do. And here we go. So we still have our parent and our driven. So it's retained the values that we have in those spare parameters. But then you can see that it's added all these other parameters. So during the beta phase uh, for Apex, uh, this will happen, I suppose, fairly regularly. Uh, but once Apex has gone gold, once things have settled down, um, this will happen fairly rarely, uh, just as it does with other nodes and, and features in Houdini. And we will try our best uh, to not break anything, to not you know, rename a parameter or remove a parameter. Uh, but during the beta period, that is possible. It, it may be that we find um, that certain things are just not um, the way that we want them to be and that we want to make a fundamental change. So again, um, I know that I'm sort of beating a dead horse here, but during the beta period, be very careful uh, about these things and, and pay close attention to these things. Um, and uh, moving forward beyond the beta period, just remember that these component parameters are in fact spare parameters.